Hi, my name is Kiara again, and today we're gonna show up some fits inspired by old art men back in the day. So it's no surprise that our first contender is Vincent Van Gogh, or Van Gogh himself. So my take on what someone would wear as a big stan of Vincent Van Gogh would be the basic art ho outfit. And this basic art ho probably doesn't know any other artists other than Van Gogh and Monet. She wears the mustard can can and she says save the bees even though she probably has no idea what that means and 10 over 10 listen to Dodi and watch Amanda Rach Lee's YouTube videos and probably has a bullet journal herself. Most likely she had a Tumblr phase where she had like peaches and she'd take pictures of peaches and then like she'd post it on Tumblr and it would get like a hundred thousand notes. Like I don't understand but I was also one of them. <laughs> and she probably has Copic markers to doodle all over her journal that contained poems of a heartbroken 14 year old. So for our next outfit, we got our basic art ho number two, but a little more refined because she tries to hide her conspicuousness by saying she loves Monet and she probably pronounced it wrong at least once in her life and now she corrects everyone who says it wrong and that's besides the point. She's probably a plant mommy who listens to classical music while watering her plants with her tears after listening to folklore or hosier. She's that girl who just casually drinks tea from like Starbucks. Like she doesn't get the coffee, she gets the tea. She's more in the subtle feminine pinky lavender blue aesthetic that screams, hey I'm soft and one of my life goals is to see this painting in Paris. And she probably owns a lot of postcards and loves to use Times New Roman because it's poetic looking. Again, these are hyper specific and she is not me. Okay, for our next outfit, this is more for our quirky girls out there. This screams, screams, quirky, sad, and fun. She probably has broken down four times today, but she's keeping it together. She's trying. This one's a little underrated because no one actually knows the artist's name and just calls it the scream, but it's actually by Edvard Munch. And yes, that's with a V, Edvard. But it always reminds me of that episode from Wizards and Waverly Place. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's the screen. <laughs> Loves muted but bright colors and will 10 over 10 go ghost hunting with you. Probably watched Scream and called it a bad movie but still acts surprised when she finds out the main character is always the killer. For our next character, we got Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Now this girl, she's a Leo. Just like its creator, Leo da Vinci. Is Leonardo da Vinci a Leo? Who painted the Mona Lisa? Oh, Mona Lisa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Da Vinci? She knows it's all about her. She's a little mysterious, you feel. That's why everyone wants to know her. She's a little disappointing though, not gonna lie. Like after the surface level, you're just like, mm. You're one of the greatest art treasures in history. Well, it doesn't feel like it. My entire life, all I ever heard anyone say about me is, why did Da Vinci paint her? She's so plain. You call that a smile? She wears warm tones, usually browns, to show how sophisticated she is with like the off shoulder pop. And yes, she only wears gold jewelry. Her aesthetic is more like the countryside, kind of like, I will run through the fields, take a picture of me, kind of girl. <laughs> so for our next contender, we have Gustav Klimt's The Kiss, which is one of my favorite paintings of all time. Here we have our true rich bitch. She's the CEO of Jewel Tones, you know, like like ruby, gold, emerald green. You feel like she's the CEO of those with corsets and fancy schmancy dress pants and expensive champagne. She carries herself so well. She is beauty, she is grace, she will punch you in the face. And I also made a painting like this. And now for an ad break. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to learn how to paint, how to draw, how to learn a new language, Skillshare is the platform for you. With Skillshare, you can learn from over a thousand different classes. Some of my favorite classes that I've already recommended to you guys are Chris Hong's Anatomy and Portrait Drawing class, where you learn how to draw faces, different anatomy, different structures, how to draw boys, how to draw girls. Another one is Gabriel Piccolo's character illustration class where I learned how to draw different characters and how you can style them and how you can make your own original characters. Another one from a local Filipino is Anina Rubio's watercolor painting class where you can learn different ways on how to apply watercolor and different color theories starting with watercolor. And Skillshare has a great deal for you. The first 1,000 people who click the link in my description box will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. And after that, it costs only less than $10 a month. So now, on to the more contemporary art side. We got Pablo Picasso with Le Femme Dalguer. I don't know how to speak French, but he is a colorful sad boy. 
He's highly depressed and does not know how to hide it because pain is beauty. Beauty is pain. Literally dresses up like he is homeless. Even though Picasso does not dress up like he's homeless, he does not dress up as at all. He is literally shirtless in most of his pictures. But look at the scarf. It gives me huge Picasso vibes with the lining and like the colors and stuff. Pablo Picasso is that guy who's like highly depressed, but then you find out he's like low-key rich and then makes like his own homemade pasta in the countryside. Um, he gives me big cancer energy. I don't know if he is, but moving on, we have Andy Warhol. This is more on the contemporary times, and Andy Warhol's attributed to his very loud colors and for his Campbell soup. And I really had a hard time figuring out how to find an outfit that revolved around it because I did not have any neon colors. It would have been better if I had neon colors, if we're being honest. The Andy Warhol girl is that quirky friend who no one takes seriously. I mean, like, everyone jokes about, like, oh, I could have done that, that's not art. But then you find out she has a 100 feet installation of Campbell soup, bananas, and Madonna. How did it come to this? She's bright, she's talkative, loves to philosophize, and probably has a lot to say on contemporary pop culture and capitalism. I feel like she's a Gemini. I think she's a Gemini. I mean, I'm a Gemini. So next up, we got an artist that's actually alive! Wow, look at that! We have the iconic flower boy, Takashi Murakami, and not Haruki Murakami, which I thought was right, but I'm actually dumb. Which is actually the earrings that I'm wearing for them. She's very trendy. I'm calling- I'm saying she, like, I'm talking about the character, and she's the girl who starts trends, you know, with all the flowers, and very quirky, all over. Probably a K-pop stan, I'm not gonna lie, she's probably a K-pop stan and she likes to dance a lot. She's probably that one friend who screams whenever she sees a Korean boy. I'm not gonna lie. Or a Korean girl if you're into that. And for our last one, I realized that most of these people were all men and so I was like, hey, why don't I include myself here to tickle my peach even though I'm not that relevant. So for the last one is the Everglow dress, please let me have this. I know it sounds so self-absorbed. So the Everglow dress is the one I made on my YouTube channel. My first video ever on YouTube. So I'm gonna just say she likes the color green. She likes the color orange. She probably spends her spare time crying over fictional characters. And you can tell she's a Slytherin because she's wearing green. I know this outfit kind of looks like a Moana ensemble going on. But I thought the tiger lilies looked so cute. This was made by my artist friend Pia Garcia. So you guys should check her out. And yeah. I know I didn't include a lot of other artists like Salvatore Dali, Michelangelo, the per girl with the pearl earring. Like, I did not include them yet. But if you guys want to see a part 2, part 3, part 4, I don't know. There are lots of artworks in the world and I would love to recreate most of them and probably do the others justice as well. So, if you guys like this video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video yet again. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!